Hey. Hey, what's up, bunch of savages? Savage Mister here. Uh, two weeks until our state fair starts, and they're, they have these, um, whatever you want to call this, sign banner thing that they put up that maps out the fair. It goes from September 29th to October the 22nd. Three weeks and three days. Can't wait. Let's go down Fletcher Street, which is named for the Fletcher Corny Dog. The best corny dog I've ever put in my fat little face. I want to drive inside the grounds, but apparently they have some function going on. They're charging $10 to park. You're supposed to be able to go in for free. I think I'm going to leave it since there's a function going on. I don't want to have to explain myself and all. So We'll try to come back uh, in a couple days, few days. I came here earlier, as you saw, to try to uh, go into Fair Park, and they had, it turns out it's football games, so in the Cotton Bowl, we got football games going on, and I just had, after getting my day started, my very first ride came from Rockwall to Fair Park, so I got in the gates, I said, hey, I have Uber pickups, or Uber drop-offs, so they said, okay, pull in here and drop her off, and then I just stayed in. So, there's the Savage Mobile right there, let's see what I can look at, but there's some some construction stuff going on right here. I guess that's what they do every year to build the uh, things for the fair, like they exhibit tents and all that. I love my fair park. This is one of my favorite places in the world. There's a giant clock here. I don't ever remember this. It looks like it's new. it's not new. They've got the banner thing up for automobile building there. Oh, this is cool. Is this gonna be something new? I don't think I remember anything being here, so I wonder. So two weeks from the day that I'm filming is the uh, first day of the fair. And it goes on for three weeks and three days. Three weeks, yeah, three weeks and three days if you're into that. It starts on a Friday, ends on a Sunday. Let's see how long I can walk around in here until somebody says, get out of here. Yeah, got the coupon booths. Oh, is this going to be a new thing? Yeah, because they've got cameras. They've got cameras and they've got these things, so that's the old school coupon booth. And they're going to have it to where you can buy them with credit cards. Awesome! That way you don't have to stand in lines for and wait for human beings to count out coupons. Very nice. Got this stuff up. I like it. Very cute. Look at the Esplanade. They've got the water in. That's good. One of the old school uh, statues, just like over there, and one in front of each building. I did a video on uh, the porticos and Fair Park. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. In the description, if you're interested in it, it's. See, you can notice this is all Art Deco stuff. This is the apparently the, without knowing where the number one largest collection of Art Deco buildings are, this is the second largest collection of. Art Deco buildings, I'm not sure in the country or the world, but anyway, it's pretty cool. The stuff's been around since the 30s. Yeah, the Esplanade is where they do the Illumination Sensation, and there's the, a banner for it right there. The Illumination Sensation, brought to you by Mattress Firm. And it's a pretty cool deal. It's a really good show. Um, it's been better over the years. Um, it's still nice, but uh, they had one that was way better than they replaced this with about three, two or three years ago. Before that, it was really nice, but I wish they'd go back to that or, you know. I think the part I don't like is out in the middle, that stage right there. They have, um, they do have dancers out there and it's really not my thing. If it's your thing, sorry, but it's not mine. We've got the lights in the trees. Very nice. Well, they've actually got it blocked off. Why? Oh, the Esplanade found his own renovations to conserve our natural resources. Whoa, it says prior to the start of this renovation, the fountain leaked over 100,000 gallons per week. Yikes. Well, good deal. Where did it all go? And here's a naked silver lady. To be equal, there's a naked silver dude over there. There's the silver surfer, what he looks like. So they pulled these things out of storage from a few years ago. And apparently they had been in a warehouse for a long time because 
I don't know if people had complained or if they did it because times have changed and they're afraid people complain. But they brought them back out and said, hey, we'll give it a go. If from what I understand, and here they are. But they are also, they've been, they were made in the 30s. All right, sorry, little kitties, you aren't supposed to look at that. It's kind of cool for me to be walking around here before it opens. I was here in the summer, but this is before it opens and the things are getting put out because you come here during the summer and it doesn't look like this at all. They don't have a lot of the, or any of the booths out or anything like that. So it's kind of cool. Starting to come together. Yep, they got the footlong corn dogs right there. Love these fountains. Very nice. And that is the Hall of State building. Got a nice sunset there and you can see some buildings of Dallas in the background there. I'm seeing other ticket booths, but I'm not seeing any more of those electronic do-it-yourself ticket booths, ATM style booths, so I wonder where more of those are. But here are these lovely fountains. I'm gonna go down this way a little bit, like left of Hall Estate. And then I'll turn back the other way because I don't think there's gonna be much down to the right here. It's just like a it's where the um, food and fiber building and the Embarcadero is. Now straight ahead, they haven't done it yet. They've got two weeks to get it done. This is where they put the Chevy main stage. And um, they, it's like got these bits that go way up and they put a couple of actual pickup trucks up there. I like it. And then here is, another, is one of these sort of uh, little shopping tents. They have loads of uh, things you can buy in here. But as you can see, it's completely empty. Let's have a look inside. Totally dead. Looking at the entrance to what is called Lone Star Boulevard, which I think they changed the name a couple years ago. It's missing some letters. <laughs> missing a, an O there and two R's here. The booth where they're gonna have fried Frito pie bites, chicken tender basket, fried cheesecake, and a golden fried millionaire pie. They don't even have the front up yet. Looks like the exhibit this year is Texas in the First World War. Let's see who this is. Robert Lee Thornton. Just because it's called Robert Lee anything, they might take you down, dude. Watch out. Here's the famous arrow shooting Mohican. There's old water fountains here, which have been there for ages. This is new. The reason why this is all new, because usually this is where this bear statue is. Usually there's loads of space behind this bear. So, they're putting in new stuff. This is the circle where Big Tex will stand. He's not up yet. They put him up usually the week leading up to the, usually the Monday or Tuesday leading up to that Friday. I'm gonna research and try to try to find out because I want to, uh, I want to see him. I've only been here for him to put him up once and I got here when it was almost done. And here's a lovely, Fletcher's, that's the best corny dog right there. Now I need y'all to pay attention, this is the dog. Don't just get any foot long hot corny dog. It's gotta be a Fletcher's one. And don't just say give me the original, because they've, for some reason over the years, I've noticed that they've, that they've changed the hot dog inside the original. It's kind of a peppered sausage rather than a hot dog, you know? So get the bird dog, and it says that it's turkey. You get that one, and that's the flavor. That's the old flavor. Because it was like a couple years, I kept just getting, you and Fletcher's, and I have it, and I'm like, what's gone? What's wrong? It's changed. And then it was after a couple years, I saw the bird dog, and I'm like, you know what? Give me the bird dog. I want to see what's up. And I tried the bird dog, and I'm like, oh my god, that's the flavor I've been missing. I thought they changed it forever. Check it out. They got loads. They got these uh, pickup trucks up top there. There's one over there as well. Where I was just at that Fletcher's, they're going to have another one. Another um, of the electronic coupon machines. That's good. Well, that's what it looks like inside before they put everything in there. See the cotton ball all lit up. Football game's going on. So these are going to be rock wall people because, because the rock wall is playing tonight. This thing here usually has a waterfall going down. They'll put water in it during the fair. Oh wow, Gulf Coast Grill, that's gonna be cool. 
little surfboards. We'll see all this operational when the fair opens. That's cool. Definitely new. Never seen it before. The paddle boats you can paddle around the lagoon there. And there's a bridge, a floating bridge that goes across the lagoon, which has only been there for a handful of years. That's a neon big text right there. The hospitality center. Oh, they got some more online coupon pickup, it says. So they have some more of those kiosks where you can use your card and get coupons. And then information there. Nice Texas themed tin roof. And they've got this whole section, which is like the entrance to the midway all blocked off. I'd have to go around here to see if I can cut through. I thought this was a rock, but I think it's more a petrified piece of tree, possibly? Either way, it makes me think of the uh, rack of ribs that on the Flintstones, the uh, waitress brings on, puts on Fred's window tray and it tumps his car over. <laughs> I said tump over. Tump over is a very Texas thing. I've said that all my life. I don't know what else. What would you call it when you turn something over? Just turn over, I suppose? Oh no, he turned it over. We used to say tump over. I was watching uh, an old thing of the monkeys. A band from the 60s. Everybody knows the monkeys. And Mike Nesmith was talking about how he tumped over the general's airplane whenever he was... Uh, something like that. He tumped over some official's airplane when he was in the Air Force and he got kicked out or something and he's from Texas. This is the band shell. Looks like they're doing a Wild West Pet Palooza. I think they do that every year though. And they used to also have a bird show. I think last year was the last year of the bird show. They used to do a pretty cool deal. You can see that Ferris wheel up there really tall. They used to, during the bird show, they had this real cool thing where the guy on stage, which is just there under that arced bit, that's the stage like an amphitheater and he would I don't know how but they would get this bird to fly like an eagle or hawk or something from the very top tip top bit of the thing and it would soar all the way down and go on stage it was really cool and then to the left of the Ferris wheel is a, t a tower there it is called the top of Texas tower it's supposed to be the tallest ride in the world I think there's one being built that's gonna be taller than it by like 50 feet but uh, it's basically just an observation deck that turns, but it's 500 feet tall. Yay, lights! I feel like I want to go to the fair. The lovely fountain kids run into to get cooled off whenever it's hot. And it looks like some more of the electronic ATM things for coupons, which is pretty cool. And you can get them in 15, 30, 45, so in $15 inc increments, basically from 15 up to 150 using your card. There is a tent here that houses the uh, parade floats. They do a parade for every night at 7 o'clock. It's called the Starlight Parade. I'm gonna go have a look. This is where some of the rides are. There's like the Crazy Mouse type thing. And one of the Midway entrances. You can see Midway right there. Some of the parade floats. before they get them all dressed up. They've got a lovely swing over here that I can sit down in while and have a rest before I have to trek all the way that way. Let's have a seat. they're going to use this to build a baby care center and it's got a little baby text. Check out baby text. He can't even say howdy folks yet. Can't even say howdy folks yet. Mostly because he's got that pacifier in his mouth. In England they call a pacifier a dummy. There's your little British uh, thing for today. Hello. Welcome to the present. While I was out there, right after that clip, my SD card was full. No, I had batteries, but my SD card was full, so I didn't get to sign off. But I uh, hope you liked seeing that. I can't wait for three weeks whenever the fair starts, and I can show it to you when it's open and in all of its glory and expensiveness or, and splendor or whatever. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and um, I'll see you all later, and y'all do that thing. Stay savage. Get to watch it. Savage. Yeah.
this time. Like, subscribe, and share, and send money.